What's going on everybody? Cuts by Reggie back with another tutorial. Today we're going to do a ball fade. Before we get into the ball fade, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the support so far. In this video, we're going to be using the Babeless Pro uh, Lithium FX. Uh, I've already put out the review for this. Not a bad clipper. Wish I had the, uh, the power button in a different location. We're going to start by combing. Uh, making sure that we're lifting all the hair off the scalp, making sure everything is stretched out as far as possible, makes for a better lay down once you're cutting down the hair. And he's gonna cut it down to a one. Uh, I'm gonna start with the one and a half. Well, it's, it's the one guard open, but I eventually ends up I end up closing it. And before I just get into the ball fade, this is me just laying down as much of the hair as I can, making sure everything is smooth. You don't want nothing. Um, you don't want a messy canvas when you start cutting. We're just making sure he still has his wave. So even though we will be cutting into it with the uh, with the with the ball fade to start it off, I want to make sure just everything is laid down in the direction that the hair grows. I start my ball fade with the with the clipper all the way closed, and this is just me flicking to start the uh, the fade. I don't want to start with the ball line because to me that just leaves a hard a, a hard line in there. Sometimes it's just hard to get out, so this just makes it easier for me once I'm going in and taking out the uh, ball line. We're just gonna start with it all the way closed and then we're just gonna open it up halfway and then we'll open it up all the way just to kind of get that fade going. Uh, again, I don't use um, the guideline fade method, which is not wrong. It's just, you know, this works better for me. Um, as, uh, as you see, we put the half guard on, starting with it all the way closed, making sure everything is laid down. Either Either a comb or a brush, you wanna make sure that you have one in your hand. And if you got a brush in your hand, just make sure it's clean. I got a few of these brushes, so I'm not using them back to back, client after client. I got a few of them and I'll use a couple of them throughout the day. Uh, but a lot of the times I do have the comb, as you can see, once, especially once the hair start getting thicker, I wanna make sure I got the comb because that's, that's helping me stretch out the hair a little bit better, laying everything down. Now I'm just going in with the one and a half, going into the uh, fade. Uh, it's not, I'm not going all the way into the hair at the top. We're just flicking at that line coming right off the scalp. And here I am just going in with my 76s with the five out blade. And this is me putting in my bald area. But as you can see, I will leave a thin piece of hair. That's like my, my, uh, my strip right there before I actually make it a complete bald fade. This is me just going right up to that line, balding everything out as much as possible. Again, stretching the skin, making sure everything is clean. And to get that line out, I will go in with a trimmer. These trimmers that I got here, they're not zero gap, they're not close. They're just, um, they're just right for me to just flick at a line without leaving another guideline into it. So I'm not bringing a fade up at all. I'm just flicking out that strip of hair that I left there. And this is me just going back, detailing the one side before I go to the other side, just making sure everything is smooth, playing with the level. level. At this point, you wanna just open and close it, flicking at dark spots, making sure that you get everything out. Now we'll go to the other side. This side is a little bit closer. You'll be able to see a little bit more. And again, we're just gonna go down, cut everything down with the one guard all the way closed. As you can see, waves popping out. And as you can see, I'm not going all the way to the front at first. I wanna learn the hair. Uh, I've cut this uh, his, his hair a couple times, not often. So in the front, you know, a lot of people have cowlicks, hair growing a different uh, uh, direction. So I wanna make sure before I go in there that I know how his hair is laying down. And uh, you know, before you just go into cutting everything off. Same steps as the other side. 
starting with the clipper all the way closed, no guard, just flicking at that area, starting my, um, I guess it's not a bald at the moment, just starting my guideline to start the move up into the fade. Now we put that half guard again, starting all the way close. Uh, and then I'll, again, I don't know the reason I started to um, cut this way. I know a lot of people have said in a few of my, I don't do a lot of tutorials, but a few of my tutorials, they'll say, uh, they'll ask me, why don't I do the, you know, where you leave the dark lines in. This just seems to work better for me. It's easy for me to fade. I'm not good at fading downwards, so, this just works for me. I, I fade up, then I'll come back with my finishing touches. you can see his hair it goes into a few different directions especially where that wave uh, that dark wave line was so that's just me stepping back looking at it again from a different angle and then attacking it with the uh, clipper uh, wide open and then I'll go into the one and a half guard and start to get out that bulk line going into the top And at this moment, that's just me looking in the mirror. Uh, and I like to point out, looking at myself, this actually wasn't for the video, but when I'm looking in the mirror, I like to point at the line myself so I can see where I need to attack that dark spot. Because looking at it face on, sometimes you've looked at the fade for so long that it starts to look like it's clear. So what I like to do, look at the mirror, the mirror gonna show you everything. Or sometimes you can actually just take out your camera and look through the, take out your phone and just look through the lens like you about to take a picture. Everything pops out more once you take a picture. That's, uh, that is why I like to take pictures and encourage everyone to take pictures of every hair, as many haircuts as you can because it'll let you see more details that your eyes, you know, can't see at the moment. And again, I got my, my bald in line here and I'll take my trimmers. As you can see, got the graphite blade on the custom FXs. If you wanna buy the custom FXs or the clippers that you see me using, Reggie 10, that's the discount code for Bagless. And that's just me flicking at that line, knocking that line out. And then I'll go in with a, uh, I think I go in with my Rebel and just kinda flick at that bottom line a little bit more. You can see, you got the rebel all the way closed, just flicking at the line. I'm not really going into it. I'm just flicking right up under there just to get that extra of uh, that that transition looking a little bit better. Now 
close the guard. I went with the one on top. So that's just me closing it down. And then I'm just attacking it, making sure that I get the dark spots out. As you can see me just, just hitting it with the finishing touches, making sure I'm pulling the skin, combing the hair down. Again, everybody hair doesn't grow the same direction. So when you're cutting to get the best cut that you can, you wanna just make sure that you're combing it in every direction that you think that you have to. And this is me just going against the, the, the going with the grain up front, making sure before I attack the lineup that everything is laid down as much as possible. This here is on the back, pretty much the same process. Uh, you know, laying everything down, getting that bulk out the way, the excess hair, and you just attack it the pretty much the same way. And here we are just doing the front line, uh, making sure that I face him towards the mirror so I can see his lineup and he can see me doing it as well. I usually like to start with the vertical bars, but his hair up front hang over just a little bit. So I just wanted to make sure that I get the right area uh, of going into his line. No, it's not a pushback. He had a certain spot. I just wanted to attack it, make sure that I get it looking as, as clean as possible. So now that I got that out the way, I will go to the vertical bars, starting coming from the edge of the eyebrow, making sure that's, that that process works better for me. That uh, of course, every hairline is not gonna be perfect, but if you can start from the edge of the eyebrow, that's the that's the best process, in my opinion, to get a nice lineup. And as you can see, I'm pretty heavy handed, but when I'm doing a lineup, I am, I am practicing on being more light handed, uh, especially when you, or once you zero gap these trimmers, especially with the Babyless FXs, you don't want to have to put too much pressure on the line. Uh, as you can see me just combing everything down, just to make sure I got everything laid down, coming forward. But you don't want to have to press too hard when you're doing a lineup. You know what I mean? You, you don't want to... And sometimes with lighter skin, sometimes you can leave red marks. It's possible. I know everybody say if you do that, you're doing something wrong. It's possible. You know what I'm saying? So I like to just make sure that I keep the uh, the, the touch as light as possible. I know I'm I know I'm heavy handed. So. Coming from the edge of the eyebrow, again, that's just the best process. It makes the line look more sy symmetric. Yes, it gets your symmetry all together.
And again, anytime that you're using, uh, that you're good tacking anything with curves, especially with your trimmers being sharp, you just want to make sure that you're using the tip of the blade, going as slow as possible without trying to dig into the skin. You don't want to uh, irritate anybody's skin while you're trying to line them up. And this is me just turning them around to the to the mirror. I kind of forgot the folk. I wasn't even thinking about the camera at this point, but I like to turn my client towards the mirror, make sure that they can see that the line is straight. Here's the finished product. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you dislike it, thumbs down, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back with more very soon. Peace.